Hello and welcome to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest stories. We are going to start with none other than Robert Lewandowski, as it has been reported that Lewandowski is considering drastic measures to force a move to Barcelona. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Ruben Neves of Wolverhampton Wanderers, it has been reported that Barcelona want to make a move for the Premier League midfielder next summer to replace Sergio Busquets. We are also going to be looking at that. So guys, as we get right into those stories in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. According to German publication Bild, Bayern Munich superstar Robert Lewandowski is prepared to take matters into his own hands to push for a transfer to Barcelona in the summer transfer window. Lewandowski will enter the final year of his contract with the Bavarian Giants tomorrow and has no desire to sign a new deal. He has publicly requested the German champions to sanction an exit while admitting that he wishes to join Barcelona this summer. However, despite multiple bids from Barca, Bayern Munich have not moved from their stance over the striker's future as they continue to insist that the Poland captain is not for sale in the ongoing transfer window. Given the situation, Lewandowski is now considering taking drastic action to force a move through to the Camp Nou. As per the report, the former Borussia Dortmund hitman is mulling over the possibility of not showing up for pre-season training and going on strike if Bayern do not sell him. It is claimed that a return to the German giant's training facilities at the Saberna is simply out of the equation for Lewandowski, despite club officials insisting that they expect to see him back for pre-season in the second week of July. Hence, there is now a possibility that Lewandowski will skip the start of pre-season as an act of protest over the club's unwillingness to sanction an exit. However, the report adds that Barcelona are keen on avoiding such a situation. Club officials, including President Juan Laporta, have been in constant touch with Lewandowski himself and ask him to be patient. Robert Lewandowski previously threatened to not show up for training when he was at Borussia Dortmund back in 2013 when they refused to sell it, and he could proceed to do the same if Bayern do not change their stance on the matter. Interesting, Lewandowski really means business when it comes to moving to Barca. It has been a very long drawn saga, we all know that. We have been talking about this l for the longest time ever, but nothing with each passing day, nothing even looks like, you know, promising, nothing looks optimistic. and. It, you, it kind of makes you wonder where are we heading to are we going to get this deal for Lewandowski done because even if we if Bayern accepts that okay Lewandowski you are free to go the price the price is another hindrance that Barca will suffer to pay like it's not like the money is not there but come on paying such a hefty amount for a 33 year old striker will be a problem so Bayern know what they are doing they had to put a 60 million price asking price on Lewandowski because they want to scare away Barca. But unfortunately for them, Barca is still hot in that race for Robert Lewandowski. So let's see how it goes. If actually Lewandowski goes on protest because they are claiming that Lewandowski will not attend the preseason, Bayern's own preseason starts on July 12th. So Lewandowski's plan action is that he will not attend. So that he wants to see what those Bayern directors will do because they have been threatening a lot that Lewandowski must attend the preseason and he wants to skip those preseason while waiting for Barca to take action. Of course, earlier in the week we heard about President Laporta calling him personally and of course discussing the potential move to Barca while Laporta trying to tell him to calm down and be patient that Barca are working positively towards that move. So let's see how it goes because one thing is for sure, Lewandowski wants nothing but only Barca. We have been hearing other clubs like Chelsea linked, you know, as Lukaku will be leaving Chelsea to Inter Milan, but Lewandowski have resisted, have refused all other offers. He wants only Barca. Of course, that tells you that just maybe he's a Barca fan, right? So let's see if actually the deal works out. but. 
many Barca fans out there want this deal to go through. We need a striker, we need a goal scorer and Barca have been prioritizing this guy for the longest time and it will be a very very disappointing um, scenario, very disappointing end if it happens that Barca don't succeed in getting him. It will be a very disappointing thing. Same thing that happened with Erling Haaland. After singing Erling Haaland's name throughout the media, at the end, Barca could not sign him. Same happened to Rafinha. Even though Rafinha's on case, there's still some hope. As um, Gerard Romero came in yesterday and gave some update that things are still open for Barca. But let's see how things go for Lewandowski. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. Shortly after the end of the 2021-22 campaign, FC Barcelona had planned for a rather ambitious summer transfer window. One of their prime wishes was to sign a long-term replacement for Sergio Busquets. The veteran Spaniard has been an excellent servant for the club over the years. Even at 33, he remains an undisputed starter in Xavi's setup. But with his contract expiring in 2023 and growing concerns over his fitness, Barca are seemingly determined to sign an alternative. Ruben Neves has emerged as the desired target for Xavi this summer as the Portuguese international is a hard-working number 6 who can offer all-round qualities in the middle of the park. However, after months of pursuit, it appears Barcelona have given up on the chase of Ruben Neves as reports from Dario Sport. The Spanish news outlet suggests the economic demands set by Wolves make the midfielder way too expensive for Barcelona under the current circumstances. As such, they will not pursue the player in the summer transfer window. However, the club retained its interest in Neves and are expected to make a move at the end of 2022-23 campaign. Barca believe the Portuguese international could be much more affordable next year, especially with his contract expiring in 2024. It remains to be seen whether Wolf are on board with the idea, knowing Neves' sale this summer could help them generate a significant transfer revenue. It could, in turn, help Bruno Lage pursue other top targets in the market. With that in mind, it will be interesting to see whether Wolf opt to lower the price tag for Ruben Neves. Barcelona are not the only club interested in the former FC Porto starlet either, though the player certainly seems to favor a move to the Camp Nou, where he could fit in nicely as the direct replacement for Sergio Busquets. Up to this very point in time, I'm still to see any of our transfer targets who don't favor a Camp Nou move because all what we have been getting in multiple reports is this player favors with Barcelona, that player favors with Barcelona. You know, none of them always favors some other destination. And one thing that baffles me is that at the end of the day, they are being hijacked and that stings a lot of questions. Were they really in favor of Camp Nou move? That's the question. So, Ruben Neves, this is not the first time we've been talking about Ruben Neves being linked to Barca. You know, he he plays a DM role as well. And Barca have been eyeing him for such a long time. His agent is Josh Mendes, who have close ties with Laporta. Everybody have close ties with Laporta, by the way. So, according to this report, Barcelona are eyeing Neves but next season. We're, we're strongly linked with Neves. We quite remember some weeks back, you know, even though there's no report again about any new interest. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.